and a look at a digital converter. We're going to look at two different systems. Firstly, the flash converter and then the slope converter. With the flash converter, we use comparators. And we're going to look at four different voltage ranges, less than one volt, one to two, two to three, and more than three volts for the input. So first of all, we need to get chain resistors set up as a voltage divider to provide us with these reference voltages that we're going to compare the input with. These go to the inverting inputs. The non-inverting inputs are connected to V in. So to show how this works, we're going to put in some numbers. So if V in is 0.5 volts, it's less than one volt. So the output of this is going to be negative. In fact, all of them are going to give out negative voltage there. If it's 1.5 volts, so 1.5 volts is greater than 1 volt, so the output's going to be positive there, but it'll be negative here still because it's less than 2 volts. And if we go to 2.5 volts, it's now greater than 2 volts, so B goes high, but C remains low. And if it's greater than 3 volts, then C also goes high. Next stage of this is to put a logic system here to convert this set of inputs to the logic system into the binary outputs. So if we say it's less than 1 volt, uh, is equivalent to the output being 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 for 1 to 2 volts, 2 to 3 will be 2, and greater than 3 volts, let's say it's 3. What we could do, we can change the input ranges here, so we could uh, just round it to the nearest volt. So if it's to the nearest volt, if it's 0 volts, let's say it's 0, 0, 0, this will be to the nearest volt is 1 volt, to the nearest volt it's 2 volts, and then to the nearest volt it's 3 volts or above. And what we could do, we could also change the resolution here. We could have this as 0.1 volt, 0.2 volt, 0.3 volts, and so on. So it's a very versatile system, very easy to change. If you want positive and negative values, what we've got to do is we've got to set the chain of resistors here uh, to give us the voltages that we want. So what we're going to do, the ranges we're going to do, at, uh, do is uh, greater than 0.5 volts. Uh, to the nearest volt, it's 0 volts. To the nearest volt, is minus 1 and minus 2 volts to the nearest volt. And the outputs of the comparators are exactly the same as before, but this time we're going to use two co two's complement for the outputs. So this is equivalent of naught, that's equivalent to plus 1, minus 1, and minus 2. If we wanted more levels, we need to have more comparators and more voltages to compare it with. So in this system we've got a 3-bit system, and this means that we've got 2 to the 3, which is 8 voltage levels. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 voltage levels or 8 voltage ranges. And we're going to need 7 comparators because it's either going to be uh, below this one, between these, between these, between these, between these, between these, between these, and above this. Slope converter looks more complicated, uh, and indeed for small systems it is. But for larger systems, when you're getting, getting above just a few uh, a few, uh, just a few bits on the output, it's going to be simpler. We've got a clock going into a counter, and the counter's going to be continually counting up. The example we're going to use is a 3-bit system, so it's going to be counting from 0 to 111 continually. The output of this goes to a digital to analog converter, and the output which uh, generates a voltage which is proportional or represents the count and this is going to be compared with the analog input. So we've got the analog input coming in, we've got the digital output coming out. All the rest of this is hidden within the system. The comparator will then drive the latch, and the latch will be used to latch the word that's at the input here uh, to the output. Now in this example, I've set the DAC to a resolution of one volt, which means every count, every time the count here goes up by one, the output of this goes up by one. So we can see it's counting up 1 volt, 2 volts, 3 volts, and so on. And when it reaches 7 volts, the next count, it then goes back down to 0 volts again. When the counter goes back to 0, 0, 0. So let's put an example in. We've got 2.5 volts. Now in this system, when the DAC output goes above the analog input, it's going to elapse the comparator. And that's going to happen when the DAC output is at 3 volts. So it's going to latch the number 011 at the output there. So it's going to count up. And as soon as it goes above uh, above 2.5 volts, that's the 3, it latches the latch. And there's a little mistake here. There should be another dotted line here, so the comparator will go high here again, latching the 011 on the output again. We can change the resolution of this. 
So changing the resolution of the DAC, this time to 0.2 volt steps. And we're going to change the, the input to 0.9 volts. So what should happen when the DAC output goes above 0.9 volts, and that happens when the digital output is 101, which gives 1 volt from the DA, uh, DAC, it's going to latch it. So it's going to count up 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.0 volts, and it has latched 101 at the output there.